To balance this equation, C7H8 plus O2, we'll count the atoms up first on each side of the equation, and then we'll balance them. We'll try to make them equal. So we have seven carbons, eight hydrogens, and two oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens, plus don't forget the oxygen with water. So we have three. In these combustion reactions, which can kind of be tricky sometimes, I like to leave the oxygens to last. That's because this oxygen's alone. So when we change this, it'll only change the oxygens. If we change these numbers, we change two elements. So let's do that. Why don't we start by just fixing the hydrogens? If we put a four here, two times four, that'll give us eight. So the hydrogens are balanced. The four, it applies to the whole water molecule. So we need to update the oxygens here. So let's do that. We have our two oxygens plus one times four gives us four. So now we have six oxygen atoms. Again, we're going to balance the oxygens last. Let's fix the carbons. Looks like a seven in front of the CO2. One times seven. So now the carbons are balanced, but we need to update the oxygens again. So for the oxygens, I have two times seven. That's 14 plus the one times the four. That gives us 18. Well, that's not too bad because now the oxygen, since it's by itself, I'll put a nine in front of that. Two times nine, that equals 18. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So dealing with these combustion reactions, it's often helpful to leave the oxygen atoms to last. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C7H8 plus O2. Thanks for watching.